Jared Poland, Fro Knows Photo. Com. I'm here at Allen's Camera and Video in beautiful Levittown, Pennsylvania. And I have here a Nikon D3100 kit, because that's how they're selling it right now. And we are going to unbox it and give it a sniffy sniff. So, first thing, it's a beautiful box. I mean, it's, it's totally worth it just for the box. That's why I would buy it. Here we go. What do we have in here? We have warranty information. We have really small user guide this is what I didn't smell it yet Alan the box ooh you know what this box smells like who remembers opening Fleer baseball no tops baseball cards that had the bubble gum in 1986 that would stick to the you know the first card that's what it smells like it smells like that gum that used to come in my uh, baseball card packs so here we go I'm just going to get right to the camera and screw everything else because I'm really excited to open this. One piece of bubble wrap. Smells like bubble wrap. Taking out the other thing. All right. It is, feels a little different than the D3000 used to feel like. Um, it's obviously a small camera. It's, it still has a three inch screen. It feels good in the hand. I have the D3000 over there. This is the D3100. Up here you'll see that it has these flips right here. Single shot, multiple shot, timer, and quiet mode. I don't know why anybody would use quiet mode. It has a new front cap, different than before. It seems a little thicker than before, but it feels good in the hands. It's still small. Um, on the back, you have this trigger right here. I've been waiting to try this trigger to see if it's spring-loaded and whatnot, and it is. It, it, so you use this trigger to get into video mode real quick. So you go like this, boom, and it triggers. It doesn't go too far. It's just one little switch, and it's there. It's right where you're shooting so that you can always be ready to shoot the next time uh, in video or switch it back to photo. So I'm going to test this out, but let's put it right next to the D3000. And it pretty much is exactly the same as the D3000. It's not really any thicker in comparison, just holding it here. Um, trying to feel if it's different. It feels a little narrower in the grip mode, in the grip hand, but that's, that's about it. Um, and there's a battery in this one. That's probably why it feels a little heavier. So let's, uh, whoo. That's right. Being that it's the baby of the camera system, it smells like Johnson's and Johnson's baby oil. Gotta love that baby oil. Anyway, so we're gonna test this out, give you the full on review at some point when I get to take one of these bad boys home and let you know exactly what I think, how it is as a starter camera, how this new autofocus video is, and we're gonna go from there. Jared Polin, Fro Nose Photo. Dot com. See ya.